better hits them. Might be good to start with a baseline. Just to get the feet moving. It's good height on that. Have time. Yeah. Taylor just arrived from the US, so it's a long trip. It's 12 hours. It's the first day on the red clay, which uh, is completely different than the green clay in the US. Let's go return. The only thing is on a court that's bouncing higher. I have to go back even further, yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's one of those important shots in the play for me. Yeah. That defensive back and cross that I can land. Yeah. It's different than a lot of sessions because I'm just trying to get, I guess, adjusted to the clay, adjust to the conditions, trying to figure out what's working for me, what's not. I feel like I'm quite mm. just not really it's Still too early. It's important to just be prepared, you know, as much as possible. You can kind of do that one, but the full on. Yeah, when I'm full spring. Yeah, a little more challenging. The most important thing is the movement factor. So, you know, on the clay, you're sliding. The bounces are unpredictable and the clay uh, slows down the ball as it hits the court. It's not like a reach, I'm like fully sliding into it. Like I can literally slide three feet and then hit one. Yeah. We try to have practices anywhere between an hour and a half and even three hours per day. Too good. That's actually a really good point from you. Yeah, yeah that's, it's that's, a great point. So good. Yeah, really good backhands across. For me, the goal is always to go 100% for as long as I can. That's good power. It's still generating. I'm always a big believer in that 1% rule where you can get 1% better each day, whether that's on court, in the gym, that just pays you know dividends down the road. Love it. It's such a good shot. Nice serve. Well done. Good spot. Great ball. You still hit through it even on your back foot a little bit. It's frustrating. I'm, I'm very much a perfectionist. And I want to get things right, and so practice can really upset me. Uh, no, that's good. And that's why you're practicing. It's just different. I mean, the red clay is different. So. In a match, I just have to deal with it because getting frustrated would affect my you know, ability to win. I know I, I know I can get that because yeah. he took the return so early. Right. So I know that that, that spot's there. Yeah. I mean, Mike, he goes uh, above and beyond in a lot of situations. It's a lot of the reason why I've had the success I've had. Regardless, of the serve is really good, but just be careful yeah. doing that one. Fall back. Any way you can hit the slice contact point a little more in front? He's pushing me that little extra that uh, sometimes I wouldn't, I wouldn't push myself, so it's a really great, uh, I guess, just dynamic we have. Good action. I think you stand back. I mean, for me, the most important thing is that you stand over a little yeah, bit. And how far back it is depends on how it's, high is the surface bouncing. Yeah, exactly. It's more situational. The very last one, you get to drove through a little more. It, should, it just should have gone. Yeah. Should have gone the other way, I think. He works very hard. Um, he's very knowledgeable. He has an excellent tennis IQ. And so that makes it makes it fun. Do you feel like you're holding back a little bit? Honestly, on those ones, not so much. I think I just kind of found my range. Okay. Sometimes the coaches are a little bit too, uh, I guess, in agreement to what all what the players want, and he'll just kind of tell me what I what I need to hear. You'd have to get back faster. That's the thing. So you can maybe snap a little more. See how that feels. Taylor's one of the best competitors that I've ever seen in any sport and that you can't teach. I feel he can be a, a, a Grand Slam champion and, and be number one in the world. That's perfect. Stay professional. 